Oh, hello there. How are you doing? I'm delighted to hear it. And I am doing superbly as well. Isn't that a surprise? And what is a surprise is this is the 22nd week. I'm still in lockdown or lock up or however that's said. I feel like I should be due a parole. I have been good, I promise, honest. <laughs> anyway, I'm not to be tied down, so I am spending the time profitably. If I'm not on my flight simulator, then I'm out in my garden tending the tomatoes and the other good stuff that grows in there, apples and pears, raspberries, strawberries, radishes, etc, etc. I do like a garden I can eat. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> well, what am I going to do today? Well, good question. I was struggling actually for a good idea when I had a message put on the uh, channel from Andreas. And he suggested doing a, a a flight between ENTC, that's Tromso by the way in Norway, and ENKB, that's Kristiansund, which is a little bit to the south. So naturally I went online and checked out flights to go there. I found that Scandinavian Airlines, SAS, have a flight SK4581. Now, why do I go and look up the airlines? Because, well, I'm not flying a little Cessna, I'm flying a 737. So, I want to mimic, wherever possible, an actual commercial route. It makes it much more interesting to see if I can follow their route and keep to the same timetable that they do. You never know, I might even have to apply for a job. <laughs> well, at my age, I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, I looked it up and there were several flights that run between Tromso and Kristiansund. The only problem is there are no direct flights. You have to change at Bodo. So I thought to myself, right, I'm going to be making the same type of a flight because, like I say, I like to follow the same pattern. So rather than make it an extra long flight, which it would be, I decided to go from Tromso to Bodo and terminate there, you know, for this particular flight. So that's what I started out to do. Now, as always, I start out by going to windy.com to see what the weather is like. So join me and have a look. Well, here you are. Here we are at ENTC at Tromso. And if you look over here, the wind is coming from 220 degrees at 17 knots. It's going at a, a nice clip. And that's, by the way, is on the surface. On the runways, well, there's the runway, which means that I would be taking off on runway 18. And if I look now at ENBO, the weather is still blowing the same direction, except it's 240 degrees down there at 19 knots. And the runway here, well, that's slightly different. So I would be coming in on runway 
to 5. So, next thing to do is to go into SimBrief. Now here's where I came across an interesting situation. In SimBrief, when I made the, uh, the initial flight plan, I put all the information in as I would do. Here you can see ENTC to ENBO. Four passengers, cargo of 0.5. I had not this, not this that you can see here, but I had a different one. I had one of these. And when I made out the flight plan and then went into the simulator, I used a program called uh, Active Sky. It's uh, the one for P3D version 4. And I always set it to be real live weather. So you can imagine my surprise when I contacted the tower at Tromso and instead of giving me the uh, runway that I would have expected, it gave me the opposite. So I knew something had to be wrong. So I had a look at the the metadata that comes in with ASP4 and I found it was well out of date. So it was giving me a different wind direction and it was the same also in Bodo, it was giving me a different wind direction. So for those of you who are purists and will want to say, well, wait a minute, we know the wind direction wasn't that way, it was a different way. Yes, you're quite correct. So what I did is I went back into SimBrief and did this. I changed the departure runway from 18 to 36 and the arrival runway from 25 to 7. Recalculated and then it gave me this. So once I had that, I'm then able to go into Navigraph and put my plan in there. Now that's what I'd like to do today is to show you how I put Navigraph together the entire route and then put all of the charts in the places all the ones that I'm going to use. So follow me along with that will you. And up here I go in to new flight from SimBrief and I use the latest one that came in. This is the one that you will see on that line. Now, if you look, see this? This is exactly what was on that information line and was checked by SimBrief. And here you can see the route. It's exactly the same route that was given to me on the other. Now, I was asked about this, how do you get the charts to come up and the toolbars and everything else? This is how you do it. Starting out with ENTC, I click on it, left click by the way, left click on open charts and here it opens up all the charts for Tromso. The first thing I'm going to need are the takeoff minimums and the parking stands. I put the pin on them on this side and down here you see this? Now the charts have appeared here. In the SIDS um, I've been told to use the Gilga 3A so I go down to the Gilga 3A Here's Gilgo 3A, so I put that on there too. And you see, that appears here. Go over to ENBO and open the charts list for that. Again, I've got the airport, airport information. And I'm going to be using, since 
we know I'm going to be coming in on uh, runway 7. I'm going to be coming in on ILS Zulu runway 7. And I put a pin on that and here it appears here you see. And the star, well I'll be using the uh, GEPT 7C. And that's this one. So put a pin on that. Now do you notice this? That's the overlay. And if you notice down here there are overlays also on some of these. Now if I take this for instance click on that you see this? it shows the root. Now there's one other thing I've got to do and that I need to draw this in. Go to approaches ILS 7 from Odago so that will be that and then see how it joined up the line just like that and then I can close that. Now if I zoom out, you see there are some tools on the side for expanding the size and reducing the size or even making it go full screen. If I go down here and just click somewhere on it, then it just comes up as the star itself or in this case it comes up as this. So the information is all there and by clicking on this it brings this up so that my root is overwritten and yes the little aeroplane will come down and follow that root exactly. So that is how I build up a route in Navigraph, how I put all the extra charts on there, all the things that I want and I can make changes as I need to. Um, so now that we've got all that sorted out, we've got a flight plan of sorts, not exactly to go with the real live weather but at least it will do for the moment and the simulator is all warmed up and it is cold in Tromso today by the way, it's plus one degree Celsius. Mm, that's just a tad above freezing. So heavy coats lads and lasses, I'll get the heat going as soon as I get the APU started up. So are you ready to join me? Then let's go to Bodo from Tromso. Welcome to Ryanair 186. Here we are at Tromso Airport and we are at Stand 17. The weather is somewhat changeable but the wind is calm for the moment. So we are expecting a departure on runway 36. Anyway as we do, you know how we start up from a cold and start. We turn on the battery, we make sure that we've got 28 volts and we turn on the fuel pump and then we start up the auxiliary power and that allows us to start a generator, an auxiliary generator in the tail of the aircraft and that will provide us with 115 volts. It also provides us with air for the air conditioning. Not that we would need it here in Tromso today, it's a little on the cool side. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the engine gas temperature building up. Now it will fall down to about four. Then this blue light will come on to say that power is available. 
so we will switch from the batteries and go to the auxiliary power unit and there it is we now have 115 volts as you can see on the voltmeter here so emergency lights are on no smoking fasten seat belts up here the left and the right window heat the probe heat and here are the hydraulic pumps turn on the APU bleed which is pushing out the air that is cranking up the air conditioning and then turn on the steady light and we should be about ready to to go from there next we'll turn on the IRS and let the IRS look out there and get our GPS location now we've got one arch two arches both of our IRS's are working good now we need to go ahead and start to program the CDU okay we'll clear the message at the bottom go to position and then we will put in our starting position which is uh, E N T C and there we have it now the next thing we need to do is we need to check out our coordinates and there's our position now we go to our route and we're going to bring in automatically the route that we have so it's ENTC to ENBO we're going to put in our flight number which is of course Ryanair so that's RYR 186 activate and there we go now we're going to put in the circular fixes for ENBO so ENBO and we need a 4 mile circle a 10 mile circle and a 30 mile circle next we go to the descent button go to forecast and then we put in the information for the altitudes that so that's flight level 150 there and 100 there let's find out what the Q and H is Echo November Bravo Oscar Airport Information Charlie 1050 Zulu Weather Wind 083 at 18 Visibility 10000 Sky Condition View Clouds at 1500 Scattered Ceiling Niner Thousand Broken Temperature 2 Viewpoint Minus 3 QNH 0 Niner 86 Advice on Initial Contact you have in. So 0 and then we'll put in the the speeds directly from our flight plan so it's 264 at 29 263 at 31 and 258 at 28 and execute that now departure let's get our clearance from the tower shall we Trumsa ground Ryanair 186 with Juliet request taxi for takeoff south departure 
Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short of runway 36 using taxiway Yankee Alpha contact tower on 118.3 when ready Taxi 2 and hold short runway 36 using taxiway Yankee Alpha Ryanair 186 So there we have it we're runway 36 and we'll be using the the Gilga 3A departure now we'll go to the arrivals and we are anticipating well it looks like we're going to be coming in on ILS Zulu 7 and that will be a Jeptu 7C and Odago is the transition so now let's check that and see what we've got. So we'll go to legs and then go to the step. And we'll screw. Okay, that's going to work. Get to our ducks. And that brings us right in onto runway 7. That works very nicely. Very good. Now we will go ahead and perform the initialization. Now our planned fuel is the combination of the reserves and the taxi plus the trip. So that's 2442 plus 2357 making 4799 or 4.8 is closest to it. The reserves are 2.4. Cost index is 10. We are 280 on our flight and the wind is 275 at 29. Six thousand transition altitude is good. One degree outside. Oh it's cold up here. Flaps five center of gravity so the trim will be 4.77 on the wheel that's the trim wheel and then the v1 is 130 rotate is 132 and then lift off is at 143 so, so 143 into there and we are getting ourselves ready. Right, now that we're set, let's make sure that we have the stairs up, the door closed. And we need to set this to Zero, zero, five. And we're twenty eight thousand. So twenty eight thousand up here and fifty for that. Good. light off and we're going to push back and go to the left in order to start up the engines so switch that and we'll start with engine number two this time so engine number two is switched Turn off the air conditioning, that's what the passengers always hate. And 
break off and start engine number two. We're looking for 24 and then we'll introduce the fuel idle. We're making sure that the pressure builds up, the oil pressure is there. There's 24. Introduce the fuel. There it goes. Oil pressure is building up, that's good. And we're getting a good spin. And now we'll start engine number one and switch to engine one. And we'll stop the pushback, put on the handbrake, going up to 24. And we've got ignition. That's good. The oil pressure is building up. And now we'll switch over to the generators on each of the main engines. Turn on the air conditioning or heat in this case. And we'll turn off the APU. And do a quick check of the board making sure everything is good right we are ready to taxi to the end of the runway so flaps 5 auto brake is set to RTO and let's get the flap indicator going We have a green light and TCAS is on. Break off and apply some power to get ourselves moving. We don't have far to go to get to the end of the runway here. Coming up to the whole short line, and now we'll request clearance for takeoff. Trumser Tower, Ryanair 186, ready at runway 36 south departure. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 36 south departure, approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 36, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance. Turn on all the lights, go to engine start position, alert the crew, TCAS is on, start the clock, and now we will taxi, and everything is checked, good, we'll taxi now into position.
we have to go up the runway a little bit to turn around to maximize the the takeoff. If we were in a smaller aircraft, we could probably do a mid-runway departure, but when you're in a commercial jet, they always tell you to use all the runway that you can. Oh, the mountains look magnificent around here, don't they? Alright, we'll move over to the side so we can do a U-turn. center line apply the toe brakes okay final check cross check we are a go advance power to N1 Push the toga button. V1. V1. Rotate. Rotate. V2. And V2. Positive rate, gear up. Ryanair 186, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. And we're doing good. And we have the speed is good. Bring up the flaps. Marker. 
standard altitude. Crew can go to work. coming up turn off the the lights and we're clearing the mountains that's always a good thing altitude so no problem
200 feet to cruise altitude. is a wicked dog leg.
the southbound. We're on our way to Bodo. Okay, everything is looking good. Cabin altitude pressure. Coming up on Narvik, just below there. For those of you who are World War II buffs, that was an important naval engagement down in Narvik.
we're just about opposite it now. Now we're getting a bit of bump, so we'll turn on the seatbelt sign. Yes, it was a big naval battle down in uh, in Narvik. It was referred to as the Norwegian campaign. getting a little bumpy up here. Echo November Drawo Oscar Airport Information Echo 1050 zero, zero, Zulu Weather Wind 083 18 visibility 10,000 sky condition few clouds at 1 Echo November Draw Oscar Airport Information Echo 1050 zero, zero, Zulu Weather Wind 087 at 18 Visibility 10 Echo November Draw Oscar Airport Information Echo 16 And now we're descending are barometric 295 
we're going to hit some cloud. It may be a messy landing, depending upon how much rain or inclement weather there is. But there's a lot of cloud we have to go through here. Pressurization landing altitude is check. Seatbelt sign is on check. Recall is check. Auto brake is armed. And Hold on, airport enter. information. Yankee 1306 Zulu wind 083 at 18. Visibility greater than 20 miles. Sky condition. Few clouds at 1,500, 4,000. Scattered ceiling 9,000. Broken temperature 2, dew point minus 3. Altimeter minor 8, 6. Landing and departing runway 7. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Yankee. Well, we have Yankee. That was the ATIS from Bodo. And it looks like it is going to be runway seven after all, so we're good on that. We're just passing through 18,700.
we're about to descend into the cloud. thousand feet and descending. northeast with Zulu to land. Ryanair 186 Bono Tower enter left traffic runway 7 altimeter 9092. Fly left traffic runway 7 Ryanair 186. Oh we have a shift in the barometer at that point. But we have our turrets so lights are on. And alert the crew to prepare for landing. Clear all those champagne glasses up carefully. Don't break anything. Engine starts switchers. Uh, to break landing. Engine start switches are on. <coughs> Altimeters are check. Nav aids are good.
and going to flat five. In the event of a missed approach, we will go to Bodo, the BOR, and hold at 4,500 feet. That's the Morse code B-O, and that's Obodo, that's the ILS. So 
we're tuned in to the correct frequency. Always a good idea. Flaps 10. thousand two hundred feet Clear to land runway 7. Clear to land runway 7. Ryanair 186. We are clear to land. Attendance. Gear down. Reset the altimeter to 4500. We have the glide slope. Landing checklist, cabin secure, speed brake lever down, arm, landing gear down, and auto brake is set. Cleared for landing. One thousand. One thousand. 
I have control. Going to 121.75 Ryanair 186 Bodo ground, Ryanair 186 request taxi to the gate Ryanair 186 taxi to gate 17 using taxiway Bravo Taxiing to gate 17 via taxiway Bravo Ryanair 186 to go to gate 17 and flaps are up clean up complete Turn on the APU.
brake on, lights off. APU is on. Engines are off. Door and stair is opening. We have arrived. Okay, switches are off. TCAS is off. IRS is off. Shutdown is complete. Welcome to Bodo.